In this video I'm going to show you how to do basic calculations involving fractions on a Sharp EL531X calculator. And on this model you have a button which is located here which is it says A, B over C. This is the button that you use to work with fractions. So for example if we put in 1 then press A, B over C and then 2 we get 1R2 which is the same as 1 half. So the notation gets slightly strange when you do this. This is how you put in a fraction such as 1 and, and a quarter. So it's 1.25 in decimal. You would do 1 then the AB over C button then 1 then the AB over C button again and then 4 and well this just puts it 1 R 1 R 4 which is 1 and a quarter. So let's just do some simple calculations. We'll start with um, addition. Subtraction works exactly the same way as addition except from the subtraction has a minus sign and the uh, addition has a plus sign obviously. So we'll just do a half plus a quarter. So to do that we just do 1, AB over C, then 2, so that gets us a half, and then plus 1, AB over C, and then 4, and that gets us a quarter. Now this is the addition, you get 3R4, so that's 3 over 4. It's very simple, just for completeness we'll do 3 over 4 plus a half, and you can see that this is going to be greater than 1, so we get this 1 and a quarter as we head up here. Now, you've got multiplication and division. They work in exactly the same way. There's no need to worry about brackets when you're doing simple multiplications and divisions. But you have to be careful if you're doing combinations. And by that I mean you're doing multiplications and divisions together. Um, for example, if you're doing a quarter times a half plus 3 over 4, this is not the same as a quarter times a half plus 3 over 4. So you have to do some thinking before you just put it in your calculator. So you've got to remember bod mass and use brackets appropriately to ensure that the calculator is doing the correct sum. So you have to understand the theory before you can simply use this mode. So thank you for watching, that's all.